Agents of Suit from Badger to Worse by John Patrick Green, Christopher Hastings, and Pat Lewis. Previously on Agents of Suit. <laughs> that moose just robbed our bank. <laughs> Did you know our car had a zipper? <laughs> You're under arrest, dog man! You're not even in the right comic. Don't worry, we'll save the day. Get the moose! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we almost got him. Let's drop some more stuff on him. <laughs> you almost killed me! It's fine, just get in. Where the heck did this Pokeball come from? <laughs> Let's get that moose! By the way, what happened to the airplane? What airplane? Shh. <laughs> I parked it on the monkey. Oh. Go, go, gadget, old people trying to reach things in high places device. <laughs> We've got him now. I've got him! Where? Oh wait, this is you! I thought you had him! Look out for the pee stand! <laughs> well, I'm covered in pee. That says it pee. What the heck did you guys do? We stopped a moose by slamming into some pee. Not pee. Well, you're welcome. Here's your money back. The guy withdrew a hundred dollars. I say we beat up those badgers. I'm gonna punch them in the face. Make them drink the pee. Oh, look, a letter from HQ. They want to congratulate us. Probably because we're awesome. I will end you. Hi, Monocle! Cilantro, I have too much work to do. I can't be in this book. But your plot line is so interesting. All I'm doing is watching this robot stand in the corner. If you think that's interesting, I don't want to know what you think is boring. How come your book was first? We were in book two. Yeah, we should have been first. Probably because I'm a more interesting character. Oh, yeah? Then why did we get this letter? Because you guys stink! Look at this graph! It doesn't make me laugh. Look what Sea Orb can do. Let me get straight to the point. You two spend way too much money. The things you have to do to get noticed. Is it just me? Or does my face look like a tiny killer whale? Back to the point. Now let me randomly spin the globe and point to a spot. Oh, it's an island. About a week later. There it is. Bora Bora. Finally. That was the worst week of my life. Yes, I figured as much by adding up how many days you said, Marsha, this has been the worst day of my life. But now we can kick off this mission, aka our island vacation. And a well-earned one at that. Let's find this uh, Inspector yeah, Pacific. Don't worry about me. I'll just swim back, I guess. Got another huddle export here. I don't know how we're ever gonna break even shipping this tropical honey. Taxis, tariffs, Dirties. We bees gotta deal with a lot of bees fees. Nothing here jumps out as particularly sooty. Looks like we'll be spending all ruddy day giving secret passwords to random locals, hoping to chance upon our contact. I think not. We may not have our badger mobile, or badger cycles, or designer badger luggage, but we still have our vests. Shouldn't we be more discreet? What? Hosh, these locals will probably think it's just some fancy set of binoculars. That's quite a fancy set of very desirable technology. Well, let's not dwaddle anyway, and sniff out our suit contact. Sniff out? But your nose is so swollen. How do you smell? I smell great, but after a week at sea, you could use a bath. Mm. Ah, aha, there. Spot on, as in there are four spots hidden next to the letters S-U-I-T. Hello, hello. Welcome to Bora Bora. What can I get you? Surfboard, shuffleboard, boogie board, board games, boardwalk. I can't actually sell that last one. But if you get bored, I've got you covered. Covered in swimsuits. <laughs> Let's just say we're more interested in the suit. Then we are the swim, if you catch our drift. Oh, I think I catch enough drift already. Drift wood, that is. Well, looks like it's bark for dinner again. Fishing for relaxation? You must have a very stressful job. Perhaps secretly stressful? Like you shoulder the responsibility of keeping the world safe from all of its dastardly enemies, all while keeping up the facade of a peaceful bathing suit salesman? Peaceful is right. I got one-piece suits, 
two piece suits, three piece. That's our tuxedo model for black tie pool parties. Bongo. We should hardly expect a suit inspector to break cover under such badgering. Let's just show him our badges. We don't need no stinking badgers. Badgers! We said badgers. Ah! Badgers? Mm. See, we're not just any badgers. We're the B team. And the B stands for best. Oh, why didn't you just say so? Because we're spies. And you know your mission? HQ was a little light on the Pacifics. I mean specifics. Then let's get started. Hmm. A secret brace hidden behind the facade of a dingy dinghy. Perfect! Suit must have something very impressive tucked away here. Hmm. Oh, it's nothing special. Unfortunately, that seems to be very true. Welcome to Swimsuit. I am Inspector Pacific. Let me take you below decks for the full tour. No, thank you. I think we get it. We don't need to embarrass you further. Let's just get to the mission, huh? If you say so, what do I call you two? Little Badger and Small Badger? Badger 1 and Badger A? My name is Bongo, and this is my comrade in paws, Marsha Charmed. Bongo, uh, Marsha, nice to meet you. I'm Bongo. She's Marsha. I can't believe a spy so high up can't tell us apart. I'm not that high up. Just a little above eye level. But I can get you some outfits to help you stand out. While also blending in. Of course. Disguises. Bring back the shop. I just have to take these off first. I take my cover very seriously. If we're going after burglars, we'll need some particularly exciting spy technology. Sorry, I try to keep this ship pest-free. Not pest. The best. A badger tank, a badger copter, badger boats, some magnetic badger boots. You won't need any of that. Whatever you've already got in your vest will be fine. Hmm. Are you sure? We don't have a lot of work in. As you can see, we traveled light. It's just normal clothes here. I don't often don attire that isn't packed with very exciting spy technology, but when I do, I like it to be sophisticated. Let's see your three-piece black tie party outfits. And I might actually be missing a few of the pieces, but I can still make sure you bring the party. No. These New Year's Eve glasses are from over 20 years ago. Ah, happy old year. Just the first try. Let's see what else might get you in the island spirit. Maybe. The jacket is a bit warm for the weather. Ha! Huh. Perfect! Let's go! It doesn't really blend in, though. It does on Halloween! Ah, Halloween! Can your parrot say anything useful? That's not a parrot. That's carrot! Computerized assistant repeating random oral terms. It's the best I got for a fancy robot guard. It's no scarecrow for sure. But then, if it was, it'd probably just scare itself. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this island doesn't see much excitement. You're the first two suit agents assigned here Look, since... Look, playing dress-up is fun, but could you please tell us what you know about the bungalow burglaries? I don't know much. You're the investigators. No, that's the A-team. We're the B... Wait, I see you didn't put the emphasis on gators there. Carry on! Tourists at the Paradise Villas have been reporting their valuables going missing. It's up to you to catch the crooks. Suit has already booked a bungalow of your own, so you can go undercover. You can be your own honey trap. <laughs> your honey badgers, right? We're, we're European. European! Well, so long as you're not a poopin'. I might live on a boat, but we're all out of poop deck jokes. Now then, what do you think of these looks? Perfect! Ah, poop! Meanwhile, Monocle continues to follow more cryptic repair orders. Hmm... I'm not sure these instructions for the system converters make sense. But if they did make sense, then they wouldn't have come from Inspector Vig. Engage breaker B1 over D4. Whoa! I knew that wasn't going to work. That undid the fixes I already finished. It even shorted out half my floating station. I can't run any diagnostics. And I can't reach suit. What still works in the base? That can't be right. This last set of configurations gave CU total command of the base. Why would Inspector Vague want that? 
I don't think CU would have sabotaged the instructions, but he has been acting weird. Gotta find out what's going on here. Back to the A plot, or I mean the B plot. Welcome to the Paradise Villas. May I have the name of your reservation? Badger! James Badger! Okay. I'm sorry, I don't see anyone under that name. It's Marsha and Bongo Badger. No, no relation. relation. Why did you say James? We're undercover. Why would Suit book us under our real names? Why did you assume Suit chose James as your alias? I was quite ready to say a lot more until I got it right. Jacob, Jack, Jasper, Jeremy. I have a Marsha and Bongo Banjo. Ah, yes. That's what we said. Banjo. Sorry, I must have misheard. It's our accent. Happens all the time. Why banjo? We don't look anything like banjos. You know, like them. How dare you? We're ukuleles. Sorry. Shortly, there are many activities to enjoy during your stay. Swimming, snorkeling, <coughs> scuba diving, swap tubs. Careful with the pointy end of your butt, B-hop. Bobby surfing. Those all just sound like different versions of swimming. <sighs> you don't know how good you have it. What do you mean? Bulls can't go in the water. Thank goodness we have some sanctuary from your kind. Bongo, you're being quite rude. And he needs to watch where he's swinging that stinger. You know how puffy I get if I'm stung by a bee? My nose is already big enough. Here's your bungalow. I was wondering what you might know about the recent string of burglaries. What's the buzz, as it were? <laughs> uh. An overblown rumor from a handful of patrons who misplaced the valuables. As you did not bring any luggage, you have nothing to fear. And I have nothing to carry inside, so I'll be on my way. Pfft. Huh? Hmm. Didn't bring luggage. <laughs> Let's make ourselves at home. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a proper headquarters. Not like that wretched boat. Everything we need for surveillance defense, and evidence analysis. It's amazing what you can fit into these vests when you ignore the rules of quantum mechanics. That's comic books for you. Good thing we raided arms before we left HQ. I hope Sven Septipus doesn't mind. Back at arms? Where'd all my gear go? Uh, we owe you one of everything thanks, the B-team. Those stinky badgers! <laughs> Isn't there a guy around here who usually says that line? He's on vacation! This case should be a breeze. I bet we can bust a burglar and enjoy Bora Bora at the same time. Business and pleasure! Bubble booty! I mean, double duty. Let's gab with the locals. Really put our ears to the ground. Indeed. This is not what I had in mind. We're blending in. More like buried in. Shush. Now for part two. After the alien invasion put me in that hive mind, I just had to get away for some me time. I heard one of those ships even crashed here. Somewhere in the mountains. Oh, heavens. I have lost my very valuable diamond necklace. I was too entranced by the art of sand sculpture. Whatever shall I do? Oh no, I'm so sorry. The same thing happened to me. See, the case is afoot. You also lost a diamond necklace while encasing your work colleague in sand? Not a necklace, no. It was my laptop computer. And it wasn't just me, someone else lost their smartphone. Haven't seen it in days. And someone else I met the other day can't find my fitness tracker. Tablet computer. <laughs> Later that evening, it seems the vanishing valuables are all electronics. You're right. Tiny technological treasures. That's the key to sleuthing out our suspect. My husband has vanished. Oh my. Is he a robot? Emotionally, sometimes, sure. Why? If your husband isn't an expensive electronic, then it's not our mission. Good luck. Oh, papaya. Good evening. Tonight's meal is a scrumptious plethora of culinary delights. Sourced right here from the island. Oh, did you hear that, Bongo? A plethora. Isn't that a type of fish? 
Our head chef, Quimby, is passionate about fresh local ingredients. Quimby is, in fact, so passionate, he pollinates all the fruit and vegetables personally. This allows for unique, delicious subbreeds of produce from the curated cross-pollination. <laughs> Interesting flavor. A bit piney. Oddly appley. Ugh. I'm sure the rest is lovely. There it is again. That pine. Apple flavor. Ugh. It all tastes the same. Like pineapple. And far too sweet. Something's off here. You're right. Sticky sweet. Like when we were covered in honey. Look around. Nobody else seems to be enjoying it either. How is your meal? Uh, great. I love pineapple flavored scrambled eggs. <laughs> They're all just too polite to say so. Could this be related to the robberies? I don't see how. But let's take a sample back to the bungalow lab for testing. And if nothing else, I can whip us up a scone in there so we don't starve. Ahem. Good evening. I am the Matra D. More like Matra B. Is there a problem? Yeah! All of your food tastes like pineapple! We know this is a tropical island, but do you have to put that tart, yellow, fleshy fruit in everything? Maybe you simply aren't accustomed to fine dining. Not accustomed to fine dining?! I am an accomplished chef in my own right! Never mind that all my best recipes were destroyed in a plane crash. Nobody here thinks this food is exciting. Look, even that boar in Bora Bora is bored. <sighs> Sir? I'd rather have the plain food for the plane ride rather than whatever this is. Nice work getting us out of there, Marsha. Now we can run our leftovers through our fully outfitted spy lab. Oh, oh no! Forget about takeout tests. Our bungalow's been burgled. And we hadn't set up any of our recording devices. We should have bugged this place before we left. We were robbed. I'm plenty bugged. But Marsha has no idea how bugged they truly are. The mystery thieves take our stuff? This just got personal. We can't possibly work like this. We need a resupply. Except we both know that Inspector Pacific doesn't have anything except flip-flops and puka shells in his rustic headquarters. We need to call home. How? Our intercontinental holocall tech has been stolen. There's still the normal telephone bongo. But we'll get in trouble for losing all of Sven's stuff! This is not about just you and me anymore. These bungalow burglars took suit property. The stakes have never been higher. Or at least that's what I'll say to convince them to send us some cool new gear. 1-888-SPY-GATORS. They really should get another number. Suit's not just spy gators. Hello, Suit HQ? It's Marsha. I have terrible news, but it's not our fault. <laughs> you need a supply drop? How'd you guess? None of your beeswax. Excuse me? I mean, none of your business. Who is this? Sorry, I'm a newbie. Uh, uh, newbie. What's going on? Some rookie on the phone desk. Listen, all is forgiven if Bongo and I can get the full arms treatment of replacement gadgetry. I have no idea what she's talking about. Some kind of spy jargon. I knew those two were up to something. Just say yes so we can figure out what to do with them. Anything you need, we'll have it delivered by your room service. No, 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 no! This location is compromised! There must be somewhere secure on this island. Ah. Uh, There's a waterfall not too far from you. Perfect! And is there any chance you could throw in a submarine? It would come in very handy. It's a submarine made for badgers. The title is a portmanteau. There's that word again. I refuse to learn it. I don't trust it. I uh, sure. Really? Thank you. You know, we could also use... Just go to the waterfall. Oh, huh. That was almost too easy. I thought they'd put up more of a fuss. They've just finally figured out that we're worth it. To the waterfall. It's a good thing I saw those badgers pull out that spy gear when they first arrived on the island. And now we've got it all. The best loot of anyone here. We'll be able to move on to the next phase of our plan. Sounds like they could have had more goodies sent in. Pity we stopped the call. Better we didn't risk them asking for backup. They've served their purpose. Now they're just trouble. Take care of them. I work in hospitality. Taking care of people is my specialty. 
You know what I mean. Meanwhile, at the Suit Rural Outpost. I don't know. What is Scarecrow's favorite snack? Computer chips. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, because he is a robot like me. Beep. Now I want some computer chips. Who are you talking to? What old programming do you have waking back up? What skeletons does this place have in its closets? <laughs> I didn't mean literally. Who is this? Why is CU having imaginary conversations with them? Maybe these will give me some answers. The skeleton must have written them while trapped inside. Well, before they became a skeleton, anyway. While Monocle is trying to figure out the reason for CU's wacky behavior, the B team is unaware that they are about to have a run in with another B team. And what could their master plan be? We'll just have to wait and see on the next episode of Agents of Suit. Good gosh, these bees are not the bees' knees, but they do mean bees' knees. Whatever. This book's copyright by John Green, and it's published by First Second, an imprint of Roaring Brook Press. And guess what? This book is, it's out. Go get it. The link in the description. Oh yeah, and there's another investigators coming out too. That's also in the description. All right, we'll see you again soon. Make sure you like and subscribe. 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 Subscribe now. Okay, bye.